Hey folks, welcome to another out, Outdoors. We're uh, with Harvey Baker today. At uh, I was looking around at the sign, it's got Harvey Baker's family farm. But uh, anyway, yep. so I was just going to say Harvey Bacon. That's what got me messed up just a minute ago when I remembered I read yeah. that sign. But anyway, Harvey's with us today, and we're going we're gonna to shoot some quail and uh, run some dogs and have a good time. Uh, Harvey and I were talking a few minutes ago, and, you know, this thing has changed so much since we were young. I remember my daddy got me a shotgun when I was 12 years old, I guess, and we would go out and to my granddaddy's house, and we'd just walk through the blackberry bushes there, those old briars, yeah. and you'd find yeah. a covey. Yeah. And then we'd go down to the, you know, the plum bushes would be about this high, and walk through the plums, you'd find a covey. So we could walk up a couple of coveys, but, and didn't even have a dog. Yeah. And well, when I got about 13 years old, I guess, when I got a dog, and I think I've had one ever since. <laughs> but uh, anyway, tell us a little bit about when, when you were coming along. Well, I started, hunting birds with my dad back in a little old town in Louisiana called Hackberry. I don't know if you ever heard oh, of yeah, Hackberry yeah. or not. It's a, they call it a hunter's paradise. I think that's there. where Argo goes and uh, goes and duck go, hunting they go and duck hunting and trout and, fishing and in the afternoon. Speckle trout fishing, right. red fishing. Yeah. Right. It, it's a pretty good place. So I started following my dad around on that little island and uh, as I grew along, well, we've always had a, he always had a bird dog and we, we moved to the hard grounds, what everybody called it down there. We moved off of Hackberry to Salford, Louisiana, hunted, hunted a while there. And one thing I can really remember about our, our dogs and what I really loved about quail hunting then and now too is I like to watch the dog as much as I do shoot the bird. Oh, me too, me too, me yeah. too. Well, we had a, you know, down there, I'd say probably 90% of the people are Catholic. Uh -huh. And they had a, a priest down there called Father Veon, loved to hunt. Well, he'd come by the house and pick up old Ted and go quail hunting. Well, he had bought him a brand new Chrysler coupe. And uh, he went out, took Ted quail hunting, come back in, they were shooting doves in one of these fields and he decided, <laughs> He decided he was going to walk out there and see if he could shoot some, and he didn't want to take Ted out in that dove field, so he locked him up in his car. Uh-oh. He shouldn't have done that. That, uh -oh. dog, that dog chewed that car all to pieces. Well, <laughs> I had a similar experience. I was at a field trial, and I had old Dash with me, which I love Dash. He'd, he's dead now, but I'd had that dog a long time. Yeah. And so... Uh, he had gotten so old he really couldn't hunt, and so I would take him to the field trial with me and just let him ride on the front seat. And so I took him and I tied him out, and I, they called for my dog, so I went up there, and I'm out there in the field, and I look up, and somebody says, there's another dog out here, and Dash had chewed through the rope, and he was out there with me hunting. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna stop him. You're not gonna stop him. Uh -oh. You're not gonna stop yeah. him, but anyway, those were the days, and things have really changed. You know, look yeah. at this. We didn't have anything like this to ride. Yeah, had to walk. Had to walk. And we didn't have anything like these dogs that they've got nowadays, you know. We've had some good ones, but they got some real good ones now, too. Yeah, a lot, of, so. a lot of testing and, inter and blood lines and stuff like that. And you know, back then, we just go to the neighbor's house and get a mix or whatever right, we got. And right, Take him out there and teach him something. Right. Well, we're going to get out. We're going to shoot a few birds today, and we're going to... Depend on you to set us straight on this stuff because you're the old <laughs> pro at it. Yeah. We got, we got Todd Boatner over there. Todd's going to help us. And uh, Connor's behind us over there. And Robert Robert yeah. Butler's coming up. So uh, we're going to have a good time. Let's, let's yeah, well, go Con get them. Connor will have to hit them all for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. All right. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Erica Franklin with Absolutely Outdoors here at Magnolia Green Plantation. Uh, I also have my helpers, Kate and Bobo here today. Um, today, your tip of the day is gonna be on moon blindness. Um, this is the, the technical name for that is equine recurrent uveitis, um, but you'll most commonly heard it called moon blindness. That name came from at one time they felt like the disease uh, was related to the phases of the moon. Um, we no longer, uh, we know now that it doesn't. It's caused by bacterial or fungal infections um, and also trauma. 
So, uh, so with uveitis, you know, one of the uh, the signs and symptoms of that are going to be eye sensitivity, uh, watering, redness, um, inflammation of the eye, um, and the key part of uveitis or moon blindness is going to be early treatment. Um, the eye cannot stress enough um, getting early treatment for any any type of eye injury. Um, eyes tend to heal quite well um, if they are treated early. Now also with the uveitis you will see some horses that have a very cloudy eye. Over time that eye can become uh, very cloudy uh, from the uveitis. Um, so you, you know it, it also um, uh, that is also another common thing to see uh, so with this uveitis if you see any signs and symptoms um, of really anything going on with your horse's eye be sure to contact your vet immediately um, because so many things can be uh, can be healed now the uveitis it is a it is a chronic illness um, once they get a certain type of bacteria in that eye and it turns into the uveitis um, it, it is chronic but it's very very manageable and treatable um, you are going to want to keep a fly mask on those horses um, especially on sunny days um, the eye is definitely sensitive to light um, and it's very important to try to to try to protect from that um, also in, initially they're going to be using um, antibiotic ointments in the eye um, possibly even a steroid to help with inflammation in the eye also through this um, through the time of a horse having uveitis, they'll probably also be using some banamine um, for the horse when they do have a flare-up of the uveitis. The banamine is a very good anti-inflammatory um, that is uh, is used to to even help with inflammation in the eye. You've probably heard banamine before for colic and things like that. Um, now you will need your vet to treat um, this this type of illness. Um, these you know these are prescription medications you'll need. But once the vet comes out one initial time, gets you set up with the medicine, diagnoses the horse, um, it's something that you will be able to manage the rest of the time. Most of the time, it's it's not something that you're going to need the vet all the time for. Just you know just just initially get the diagnosis get the treatment get the medications and and then you'll you'll be able to manage this on your own the vet can show you how to how to apply the uh, the eye ointment um, make sure your fly mask is staying clean I would recommend owning two fly masks so that one can be being washed and dried while the horse is wearing the other one um, that is always important and um, and just, you know, don't, don't give up. Um, eyes do take some consistency to heal. Um, get early treatment, stay consistent, and you, you can manage your uveitis in your horse. Thank you so much. This is Erica Franklin with Absolutely Outdoors at Magnolia Green Plantation with your tip of the day. Is there another one in here? Y'all get ready. Well, how many birds went out? Up. And so four. Somebody ain't shooting good, are they? <laughs> no, I can't hit nothing, man. <laughs> hey, you better give me a walk. I was looking right at the back of his head. There goes That's another one back yonder. Yeah. Yes, yeah, pretty healthy bird. Like you the only one hit one out of that bunch, so I hope these other guys can do a little bit better this time. We're gonna, hey, we're going we're gonna to see how much driver to give us for that little piece of tape with him missing. <laughs> right. And so, I he shoot. probably doesn't want that over the air. I he couldn't shoot not. the second time. I was looking at Robert. Yeah, you would have to shoot Robert. He was in your way, wasn't he? He got him now? Yeah. Okay. Y'all do y'all thing. Don't make us look bad. So I just pass this tree. Got that one. Mm -hmm. Got that one.
<laughs> that one for sure. That'll find you bring it back. Come on. Yeah, oh, there you go. Good boy. Hey, that's good enough. The one didn't jam. I don't believe it didn't jack the rock. Hmm. Let's take a we'll walk. We'll walk down here too and there's a little pond. Appreciate you letting us come out today. It was it was a great day. Hey just, man, I had, had a great time, and uh, you know this this is kind of what it's all about. You it know? sure is. I hadn't had this much fun in a while. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I've been this cold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were trying to get over there in the sun, and Craig tell us get over here in get the shade. shade so yeah. We're gonna make this little well, thing short. He's standing in the sun. He's standing in the sun over there, and we're in the shade. But Connor. We sure appreciate you coming. Shoot, man. Robert, always good to see it. you. And of course, Todd. Oh, yeah. Good to see you, man. I enjoyed we enjoyed it. it. But we really, we really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just a great outing. Yep, and got a chance to fellowship a little bit yeah. with the fellas and had a good time. Oh, Anytime yeah. you want to come out here and run your dog, I'm out here most of the time. Just All right. give me a buzz and come take on. You up on mm -hmm. That was right good. Anyway, sure appreciate it. Been a great afternoon. We're absolutely outdoors. See you next week. Thanks for watching.